Good evening and welcome to the wrap up. I can't believe we've already reached week nine. Time is flying by and we just have two weeks left in the regular season until we begin playoffs. Pretty crazy that we're yeah, come absolutely. to the end. We, we, we got here really quick as some teams opening district play, others looking to clinch a playoff spot. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our pickums for the week. Pick six brought to you by Domino's. And our game of the week tonight was Happy taking on White Deer. Also, Sanford Fritch taking on the Stratford Elks. And then Lubbock Estacado taking on Pampas. So some pretty good big games to pick from this week. Little tough matchups, as you can see. Brianna likes the Bucks, the Elks, and Lubbock Estacado. I went with Happy, the Eagles, and the Harvesters, while the rest of the guys all across the board liked Happy, Stratford, and Lubbock Estacado. So I'm still there. You can see with their standings. I'm bringing up the rear. The other guys, the rest of you guys, pretty tight to see who's going to pull out for first. I think we have last wrapped up. So Let's check in on how you the six man voted you also took happy stratford and pampa well we're gonna start with begin with our game of the week of course in district one one a division one as we mentioned the second ranked happy cowboys taking on the third ranked white deer bucks let's see how you the fans at home voted and close one yeah 55 percent took the cowboys our mathematician didn't go right because 55 46 doesn't yeah. have 100 it should gotta, be 45. gotta call out someone uh in the back but uh again a close one there and just touching again on uh, White Deer situation there. Their streak still alive after that game with Follette was called right. early. A lot of people say, well, White Deer has been scored on. Follette put points on them, but that game doesn't count. Anything that happened in that game doesn't count. White Deer still scoreless. Happy comes in number two in the state. White Deer number three. So pretty good matchup. Right, and Happy with a 43 consecutive win 44 streak. straight. They're looking for 45 tonight. There we go. All right, well, let's take you out to the game. Again, this one being played at Buck Stadium in the second quarter. Peyton Freeman takes the snap. He pitches back to Kaysen V. Hill. He loses it, but it's going to get screwed up by Hadley Freeman. He's going to take it all the way in for the score. Makes it 16-14 happy at this point. And now happy back with the ball, and Jaden Bressler takes the snap. He's going to hit Colton McCarley. Oops, oh, Colton McCarley great. throws the touchdown there to Dalton Gray, and he's going to score another TD. Now happy again here. McCarley takes the snap. But he'd fumble it. The ball is picked up by Gage Freeman for the Bucks. Now next possession for White Deer. Freeman throws the ball. Looking around. And Ooh. it's picked off by Jackson Davis for happy. He's like, yeah, that's mine. I got it. Now that very happy. Yeah, good one. Now very next possession, McCarley. Throws the ball and he gets picked off. Let's take turns by, with the interceptions. Yeah, Gage Freeman. Now White Deer back here and they're down 24-14. And Casey Beal going to run 43 yards for the Bucks. Touchdown to cut into the lead at 24 to 20. So a lot of early turnovers there, but in the end it would be Happy who gets the big win over White Deer, 70 to 26. So that shutout streak has officially now come to an end this yeah, evening. Yeah, it has. And also, I do want to mention that game did get to the third quarter, so both teams actually played their first game past the second half tonight. Yeah, also impressive, definitely. Well, in uh, continuing in 1A, District 2, 1A, Division 2, Groom opened up district play against Headley, and then last night, the fifth-ranked Valley Patriots kicked off Week 9 against Silverton. DJ, you were out there at that game. Yeah, it was a cold night, and uh, both teams <laughs> came out ready to play. We're going we're gonna to head out to Silverton first. We're going to pick this one up on the opening drive for Valley. Parker Carson finds Jaden Smith out of the backfield. Makes a nice move. Yeah. Nice little cutback inside. He's going to take it into the house. Makes it 8-0 Valley. Then the next Valley possession, Dax Allen. He's going to get the handoff. Just going to take it right up the gut. Spin move into the end zone. Makes it 16-0 Patriots. Now it's 22-0 Valley in the second quarter. Smith going to get the rock again. And this may be the most impressive play of the night. As he, ah, it's the brakes. I think I'm going to go this way. What's coming out of DJ inside. over here, you guys? And that makes another score there. Valley would go up 29 to nothing. They get the big win in this one, 47 to nothing. All right, well, let's go to Headley now. This one being played this evening, taking on Groom in the first quarter. Groom up 6 nothing, and Corbin Ruthart takes the pitch. He can't find an open receiver. He's going to go 35 yards for the touchdown. The extra point would be no good, but they still roll. 12-0. Now Groom's next drive, Cade Linquist gonna hit a wide open cutter Babcock. He makes the great catch. He goes 
Great run yeah, there Yeah, great well. run there for the touchdown. 18-0 Groom. Now second quarter, Jordan Upton takes the pitch. Nice 35-yard gain. Going to cut back inside till he's finally taken down. And same drive here, Upton. Going to finish off the job. The 50-yard touchdown run to cut into the lead. 18 to 6, but it would be all groomed this evening, 64 to 18. Well, let's check in on some of the other scores around the area. All right, the fours all over Higgins there. These 44, were played last night. 38, and then we had Hart falling to Nazareth, 59-14. I mean, this was from last night as well. McLean beat Miami, 48 to nothing, and then Cress over to Last Buddy, 48 to 8. We have some taps previews. These games being played tomorrow, Wichita Falls. Notre Dame taking on Holy Cross and Abilene Christian in town taking on the San Jacinto Patriots. And we'll have those games for you tomorrow night on the new channel too. So. On the weekend edition. Perfect. Well, we're going to hand out some of our awards now. We're going to begin with Hit of the Week brought to you by Jimmy Fincher. And this one is a good one, folks. This one's right out of the pages of the WWE. And this comes from last night's game. This one up in Valley is Joe Carrera just going to bust through the line. Look at this. That's a belly to back suplex. As we're going to check it. You see the laundry come in there. He wouldn't get a personal foul on this, but look at this. Just hauls him <laughs> over. Devastating. Yeah, quarterback, I think... The quarterback would be okay. He'd be able to walk off the field. We wouldn't have shown that one. Yeah, there, but that's... just a hardcore play. And yeah, that, that yeah, was, I got to I got to I think that's one of our, our top ones so far for the wrap. When I saw that, my jaw week. dropped. Right. And I shot it. So. <laughs> now here's play of the week. This one coming from Oh, this is just... the white deer with a happy as well. We've already seen this one a little bit earlier. Yeah, Case and Veal going to get the handoff. He loses the ball, and it's scooped up by Hadley Freeman. He... It's enough for the score. Now, look at this one more time. It's almost like they planned this as we're going to roll back around onto the instant replay here. Look at this in here. Loses the ball. Wait. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, he's cool. like, nah, you, you, you good. You, you take it the rest of the way, then. We got this. So big play there for White Deer uh, from a great game from our game of the week. That's right. Well, that's what we also call chemistry. He's got his teammate back. He knew it was falling. Well, don't go anywhere. Coming up next, we got our two-way block. A lot of games in the panhandle this evening, not down in Lubbock. So we'll bring you all those coming up. You're watching the wrap-up.